G'day people, how are you? It's uh, Joe Springer, Springer Solar. Your Wi-Fi is not working on your inverter. Let's get it sorted for you. So you've either changed your password, you've gone to a new internet service provider, you've got MBN on, you now have to reprogram the Wi-Fi settings on your inverter. First thing you need to do is get out near your inverter and make sure you can see your Wi-Fi network uh, using your phone. If you cannot see your Wi-Fi network, there is no way that your inverter is gonna be able to be connected to the internet. So check on that. If you don't have a Wi-Fi network out near your inverter, you'll need to put in a Wi-Fi extender or you can do a couple of other options. Um, we won't be going through those on this video. So let's make sure that we've got the Wi-Fi network on your phone, first things first. Now, if you haven't changed internet providers, one thing that you can do straight away is just actually power cycle your inverter. So you wanna switch the AC off. So on this case, there's a paddle switch here. If it's near your switchboard, it'll just be your solo inverter main switch. Then come across here and turn your DC off. Let the whole thing power down and then fire it back up again. So DC back on, AC back on, let it start back up and then see if you do get a solid blue light, which will show you that you're connected to the Wi-Fi network. If it hasn't, then we need to go into the inverter, change the settings and get you going. Let's have a look at it now. So you can't connect your Wi-Fi to your Fronius Gen 24. Let me show you how to do it. So to do that, you wanna hold your finger over the middle button here until you get a flashing light above the Wi-Fi icon here. So then you go into your phone. Okay, so to set up your Fronius, first of all, you go into the Wi-Fi settings on your phone, you go into Wi-Fi, and then you'll see your Fronius network there. So you grab your Fronius network, the password for it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you join that network, just waiting for it. So we've got a tick there, so we're good to go. Then you go to your internet browser, and you put in the IP address, 192.168.250.181. So you enter that in to the address bar and hit enter. Okay, so once that's loaded up, you should see all your bubbles there and you'll actually see what's happening with your inverter system at your house. You then go up to the three lines at the top right hand side or the hamburger as they call it. You click on that guy. You go down to communication click on communication, and then we want to go in as a customer. If this is one of our installations, then the password for your username is Springers with a capital S, Springers01 will get you in. Or if it is an installation from a different installer, you will have to find out what password they have used for you. Type that in and then log in. Once you're logged in, go up to the three lines of the top right hand side. We can go to network. You keep using the Wi-Fi network from the phone here. So we want to click on this Wi-Fi here. So you click on the Wi-Fi in the middle and then you can see your available networks there. I won't mess with this one because it is online, but you find your network, click on that and then you are connected. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that helps. Have a great day. See you later.